Hi everybody, welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a book tonight about something very important. Because I have a book tonight about learning how to say you're sorry. Have you ever done something wrong or hurt somebody's feelings and you have to say you're sorry? Well, this book tonight is about some animals who learn how important it is to say they're sorry when they do something not nice. And this book is called Sorry, Really Sorry. Sorry, Really Sorry. This is a book about a cow who's in a bad mood and does something mean and then gets everybody else in a bad mood and they have to learn how to say sorry but really mean it when they're sorry. We need to get into this book so we can learn about that too. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Sorry, really sorry. Words by Joanna Coltler. Pictures by Harry Bliss. Cow was in a nasty mood. Usually she was content to munch grass, rub up against fences, and play with her farm friends. But it had rained the night before, and this morning her hooves were deep in mud. That made her mad. Uh-oh, Cal's not in a very good mood today. When Duck came along, Cal kicked mud in her face. Now, why'd you do that? asked Duck. It felt like it, said Cal, and I'm not sorry. Uh-oh. Flapping furiously, Duck wiped mud from her beak. Oh, no. Cow's in a bad mood and was mean to Duck. Hi, Duck, said Frog. You're all muddy. Want to swim with me? Duck thought of how mean Cow had been. No, you gross green glob. Um, am not, said Frog. Are too, said Duck. Say you're sorry, said Frog. Sorry, said Duck. Not sorry is what she meant. And Frog knew it. No, Cow was mean to Duck, and now Duck's mean to Frog. This is not going well. Frog was angry. I might be green, but I'm not a glob, Frog thought. Bird sang out her best song, hoping to cheer Frog up. Frog said, Tweet, tweet, tweet. Your tweets stink. Hey, why'd you say that? asked Bird. It felt like it, said Frog, who's in such a bad mood. Bird's feelings were hurt. She thought her tweets were lovely. Aren't you even sorry? asked Bird. Sorry, said Frog, but he wasn't sorry. Not one bit. Now he's hurt Bird's feelings, and he's not sorry. Bird flew up in a tree. There was a goat perched on a branch. This is my branch, said Bird. Get down. Um, but we always share this tree, said Goat. Not anymore, said Bird, and she beat her wings until Goat tumbled to the ground. No, she made Goat fall, and she wasn't sorry. Not at all. Why is everybody being so mean? Goat ran as fast as he could. He wanted to go away, get away from Bird. He ran so fast, he ran right into Pig. Ow, said Pig. I did that on purpose, said Goat. He thought he had, even though he hadn't. Why, asked Pig. I felt like it, and I'm not sorry, said Goat. Wow, now Pig is so sad. That was so not nice. Pig lay down in the farmyard and began to cry. Big, loud, honking snorts. Snort! Snort! <laughs> Poor Pig. Pig got his feelings hurt so badly. Um, what's wrong? asked Dog. Go away. I don't even like you, said Pig. Pink honked and snorted some more. Dog just sat there and let Pig cry for a while. Dog said, I know you like me. We eat lunch together every day. <laughs> well, that's true, sniffed Pig. And sometimes you even share your favorite waffles, said Dog. Um. I do love waffles, sniffed Pig. Dog is trying to make Pig feel better, and he's doing a really good job. Goat was mean to me, so I got mad. Sorry, said Pig, and she meant it. Okay, said Dog. Dog gave Pig a big, long lick. Pig felt better, 
So, Pig found Goat and gave him a nuzzle. The nuzzle made Goat feel so good, he brought Bird a delicious snack and a worm sandwich. And Bird, who couldn't find Frog, left a box of flies with a note that said, I love you, Frog. Oh, now everybody's working really hard to make up for what they did. When Frog got Bird's note, he found Duck and went to swim in the pond with her. And there was Cow, who started it all. Oh no, are they going to be able to make Cow feel better? Cow, said Duck, want to play with me and Frog? Um, yes I would, said Cow, walking to the pond. Duck, I'm very sorry I kicked mud on you. And she was sorry, really, truly sorry. Why'd you do that, asked Duck. I don't like muddy hooves, said Cow. Better now, asked Duck. Better now, said Cow. And she was. Until... Horse was surrounded by flies. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Everybody was feeling better, and everybody said they were sorry, and everybody really meant it, and they weren't in a bad mood anymore. But now, horse is surrounded by flies, and that's going to get him in kind of a bad mood. I hope he's not mean to anybody, and if he is, I hope he remembers to say that he's sorry, and really mean that he's sorry, because that's an important thing to do if you hurt somebody's feelings. And I'm glad Cow and all the other animals learned that lesson, that you have to be kind, and if you do hurt somebody's feelings, you have to say you're sorry, and you have to really mean it. It doesn't matter if you just say, oh, pfft, sorry. That's not how you mean it. You have to say, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. That's what you need to do if you hurt one of your friend's feelings. Or if you do something to get mom and dad upset, you have to be willing to say you're sorry, just like the animals. It's really important and a very big lesson to learn. So I hope you'll think about that tomorrow. Tonight, it's time for us all to go to bed. Just like the animals, we need to get tucked in, covered up, cuddled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, if you hurt somebody's feelings, be sure to tell them you're sorry. But an even better thing to do is to not hurt somebody's feelings at all. Just be kind. Even if you're in a bad mood like Cal was, still be kind. And don't try to, don't worry about saying sorry to mom and dad. You won't have to do that if you do something very important. Hmm. Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.